If I could, if I could invite uh, um, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum to join us up on stage, if everybody can show a huge appreciation to, to Sheikh Ahmed. Thank you so much. If uh, Richard Burden, uh, Richard Burden, Chief Executive Officer of Mead, if you could come up as well, and um, we've got the trophy behind. Good. And His Highness Sheikh Mubarak, if you could uh, join us, Sheikh Mubarak Al Saba. Thank you, Mubarak. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great. Sheikh Ahmed, thank you so much. Great. Now we're going to have a quick little one-on-one uh, -on -one sure. interview. Let me put my prize here. Then. Put your prize here. So this is... Uh, we're truly honored that you've... Uh, you know, and big congratulations on that award. Thank you very much. Um, I, I gather you're also... I gather you're also uh, winning a, an award, uh, another award in a week's time. Let's make sure this works, yeah. Tell, tell, us, tell us about it's, that. It's been a busy week. Is it, is it quiet? Um, Are we allowed to I, say I, anything? I can get my voice a bit louder, that's for sure. But yes, uh, I'm deeply honored to be here and overwhelmed by the award that you have bestowed upon me. Uh, uh, and uh, thank you very much to His Highness Sheikh Ahmed for supporting uh, the annual event uh, and also Jonathan uh, for everything over the years and ensuring that we have such an eminent and uh, very broad uh, presence from the industry specialists and I'm very proud to be uh, you know, received by you and honored by such an, a, a prestigious a group of, 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 of people. Well, that's, that, that, you certainly uh, deserve it as well, Sheikh Mubarak. Now, but I was just mentioning earlier, I think you're, you're, you're getting another award next week, isn't that right? Um, yes, I'm getting an award from the uh, French government, uh, Légion d'honneur, uh, Chevalier. And that is a great pleasure and honor for myself and for my family, of course, to be appreciated by the Republic of France for Fantastic. our relations between Kuwait and, and France. And of course, for my contribution to the uh, yeah. hotel industry. Uh, well, then I think, uh, Sheikh Mubarak, you also have the same award as well. I mean, Sheikh Ahmed, you also have the same, same award. So, uh, although I think that's the Commodore Award you have. So many congratulations. Great. Well, listen, tell us a little bit about your uh, early life and where did it all begin? Um, so budget hotels. Hotels was very intriguing to me from a young age, in a way. I've always liked development. Development, to me, since a young age, was something second nature for some reason. I enjoyed building things and, and got really interested at a very young age. Uh, hotels came much later to me, uh, and that was very much during my studies in the United Kingdom. I was doing my PhD at the University of Cambridge at the time. And I noticed a, a new phenomenon at the time, the proliferation of budget airlines, be it you know, the easy jets in the early 2000s, uh, the Ryanairs. That meant more travel uh, within the region, mm -hmm. uh, be it in the European Union at the time. Uh, hotels being developed, mid-scale hotels, and hence people can afford to travel more often at more affordable prices. This meant that not only was travel easier, it was more cost-effective, people could afford to travel more, and also ensured from the business side that business travelers can meet their clientele, uh, can visit them more often, and hence the cost of business was becoming much more efficient and cheaper. And that's what led to, of course, uh, promoting of uh, this sector. And for me to think about it in a courageous but innocent way. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, what do I do here? This is very interesting. I mean, something happening in Europe. Why don't we have this in the Middle East? Mm -hmm. Why don't we have mid-scale hotels? We had a lot of, of course, five-star hotels or luxury hotels. And you know, some mid-scale hotels, of course, uh, mainly in the four-star segment. And then you have the unbranded hotels. And that led to me thinking and contemplating, why don't we look at this? And I could, I could, I could see the beginning also, about more than a decade and a half ago, uh, you know, the rise of 
limited service or economy airlines in the region, be it Al Jazeera Airlines in Kuwait or Air Arabian in the UAE, of course, Fly Dubai also recently. And that meant also new destinations being created, more cost-effective travel, and hence that led to some insight and thinking, saying we need to match this you know, this segment of airlines with hotels, which can also ensure, uh, you know, the travelers get the best value for money and service, of course. So then you launched your first hotel in Kuwait? We launched our first hotel in Kuwait, uh, which was opened just after the financial crisis, the global financial crisis, uh, 2008, uh, in Salmiya, which is the first uh, Accor Hotel and Ibis Hotel in the region. We had another hotel, of course, in Australia open for that. And uh, as I say, the rest is history. Uh, that did extremely well since the opening. And with the wind behind our sails, we believed we want to be different and not only you know, a private uh, hotel uh, developer or, or conventional one, but to, to, to look at expanding our reach within the GCC. As you increase the footprint of these hotels in the region, people would understand better uh, our brands that we work with. And we work with you know, leading uh, hotel brands uh, you know, who have uh, great uh, marketing ability and brand awareness, of course, in Europe, uh, in North, Africa, North America, and Asia. I want to make sure that we can also cross-pollinate these brands and have them in our region, by which you know, um, it will further enhance um, the recognition of the brands and also customer satisfaction uh, and having brand standards which people can expect mm. uh, when uh, visiting uh, these hotels. So you're not tempted to uh, build a five-star hotel? Uh, five star hotels, I'm sure, do very well in certain markets, but if they go against you, it's pretty so difficult. So you're focusing on that mid-market? I believe that, you know, piecemeal smaller hotels yeah. and have a, a larger geographic diversification is more interesting, and of course, it's horses for courses, depending what you like. And you like uh, using international brands? Of course, we, we, we work with uh, best-of-class international brands uh, who, of course, uh, you know, have a, a very big uh, footprint uh, globally, and we try to leverage that uh, within our region. Mm -hmm. And you act as asset managers? We are, uh, we are developers, asset managers, and owners and financiers of hotels. Right. However, and we do not manage our own brands. We, right. And so you've expanded outside of the region. Mm -hmm outside of Kuwait, you've moved into Australia. Tell us, why, why did you go so far away? So Action Hotels is currently, in a very short span, geographically, geographically is in five of the six GCC countries in, in all the capital cities, uh, plus Jordan. So that's, we have a MENA-centric and GCC-centric, let's say, focus, MENA, sorry, Middle East, not North Africa. Uh, and also half, or nearly half of our portfolio is in Australia, uh, which we believe is a very stable market. Uh, Australia has sh shown uh, resilience even in the financial crisis that has grown, the, the country has grown over the last two, 20 years without any uh, recession and that is very positive by any standard. Um, that also gives a diversification in terms of geography, uh, diversification also for our investments and of course uh, Australian weather in the summer, our summer months is very cold there so that's another diversification also. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense, yeah. Um, now, tell us about uh, when you listed on the London uh, Stock Exchange. Mm. That is a very you know, important milestone for us. It's been three full years currently uh, that we have been on the market. Would you do it again? It's very important for us as a private company, as Action Group, uh, to, have, to professionalize our business and also to make sure that we have recognition uh, in, in the marketplace as, as, a, as a public company. Uh, that is ensure that we have uh, key stakeholders and shareholders with us that we can, you know, uh, that, that we can um, uh, invest with them in the future. Credibility, of course, is important. Uh, governance and transparency are the three, mm -hmm. three key areas. Yeah, so really uh, you were uh, way ahead of the curve when it came to mid-market hotels coming into the space. I mean, we heard from Steve Joyce, the CEO of Choice International yesterday, and they're launching into Saudi at the moment, looking yes. for 25 um, of their comfort um, mm -hmm. brand in. So you've been there right from the start. So what's your plan going forward? Because obviously the, now there's a lot of com competition coming in as well. I mean, as we all know, the mid-market segment is still we're a very small part of the general pie. We have the fast, fastest growing sector within the hotel industry. Um, the focus for us is to continue developing our hotels, 
We currently have 12 hotels operational, uh, seven under construction, and that is about, uh, we have 2,100 2, rooms open currently, 2,200, and another 1,000 under uh, development. Uh, we would like to focus on our operations currently and not expand geographically. We believe this is a very healthy uh, industry and competition is very healthy, not only for us, but also for our loyal customers. The more competition, I think, is the better also. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this is a long-term industry. Mm -hmm. And we need to be very clear that you know, there's no quick fix in any industry, especially in our industry. Mm -hmm. This is a very favorable asset class. People like to invest, I believe, in this asset class globally. And we can see that even cross-border mergers and acquisitions, be it from China into operators or into owning companies globally in this asset class, we think this is a favorable uh, value proposition uh, in terms of mid-market hotels. And hence, going forward, it is very important to stay focused and also to, to, to believe and be resilient, uh, even in times of, 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 you know, of uh, difficulty mm -hmm. uh, that we've experienced in the region over the last few years. Yes, there's been more supply. Yes, that's affecting uh, not the occupants, but maybe the rates and rev bars in most of our uh, key markets in the GCC. But at the end of the day, we're here for the long term. Just going back to being a listed company, would you advise um, your colleagues to do the same thing that you did? It depends on the timing, of course, uh, but for sure it gives more insight and also transparency and also mm -hmm. target uh, for, uh, for stakeholders and for the management when we become uh, you know, uh, accountable to shareholders or a broader base of shareholders than when it's a private business. Mm -hmm. um, it is an interesting experience and a useful experience and I'd, I'd recommend that, yes. And um, one last question. Um, what would your wise counsel be uh, to the audience here in terms of development of the mid-market hotels? The key at the end of the day is not the hardware and the building, but it's the software. It's the people behind it. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my team members who have worked with me over the years in you know, ensuring that we have a successful business model over the last 10 years. Those of them who are here today and those who cannot make it and without them, of course, this would not you know, be, be possible. The next most important thing, of course, is professionalism and the ability to identify the right opportunity in the right geography. That is very key. And third also is the ability to improvise with the market conditions. That is from the management perspective. Also from the operator perspective, we need to also be very close to our operators and to support them because at the end of the day, they are our managers, and they are the people who will make sure that we deliver. And at the end of the day, the most important factor is our customers. Without them, we'll not be successful. Mm -hmm. So customer satisfaction is key. We are, even in, in a limited service hotel or mid-market mid hotel market, uh, hotel group, we need to focus on customer satisfaction. Your expectations may be lower in the mid-market, but you must deliver. For example, if I'm staying at a five-star hotel, you'd expect, you have very high expectations. I give a very small example. Sometimes you pay for, you know, internet service. I think that's ridiculous if you pay hundreds, if not thousand dollars, and then you pay for, you know, Wi-Fi or internet. These are things, you know, that uh, are small things count, which, for example. And hence, it's very important that one looks at matters and improvises mm -hmm. with these matters. Well, Sheikh Mubarak, you should certainly uh, show your, your, your teamwork that you have with all your parties, you know, the brands, your, your staff, your team, and uh, is certainly deserving of this, uh, this award, this Pioneer Award, for being such an entrepreneur in our Thank industry. You and, but I think it's very important to note our region also, and going forward. We've gone through tough times, but the future, I believe, is very interesting for, for our market. If you look at, for example, Dubai, with the Expo coming up, you look at the World Cup, you look at uh, you know, what has been done in terms of proactive uh, efforts of course, His Highness you know, knows more than anybody what Emirates Airlines has done for Dubai and promoting Dubai and, of course, also the region. That is great for our industry, and we hope that this will increase uh, in the future. And it will touch on all of our lives, being it you know, hotel owners, operators, uh, people in the industry. And the more we can showcase our region and ensure that we can promote our region in a positive manner, and that will benefit all parties relevant to the industry. Okay. Well, if much. everybody can show their appreciation and thanks and well done, Jake Mubarak. Thank you so much.